Hello you guys, so I'm going to be showing you how to perform an ESR test and I'm gonna need a few things right here first of all I'm gonna need the blood sample and then I'm going to need a plastic pipette and then I will need the ESR tube right here and at last I will need the ESR measuring device all right so first of all I'm gonna start by opening the blood sample right here and then I'm going to get this small tube right here and then with the pipe it what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get blood from right here just like this perfect Okay, so I'm gonna put this aside. And then I'm going to fill this ESR tube with the blood. Okay, so here we go. And then after this, I'm going to get, and first I'm going to plug it back again. Then after that, I'm going to get the measuring device and I'm going to push kind of hard like that and I'm going to be pushing down, alright? And at the same time, I'm going to be twisting it. There we see the blood is going to the measuring device, as you can see. Okay, just gonna kind of twist it. And then. And then. Okay, here's where I should stop, all right? I don't want to go above this white line right here. And then after that, this thing is ready to go to the rack. But first, I'm going to put the name of the patient, my initials, and very important, I'm going to put the time, all right? Why? Because I'm going to be back in an hour and get the results in an hour. So the time is very important, right right here. And then, well, after that, well, when filling this, this tube, you wanna avoid bubbles because bubbles can affect the result. And after that, after you have everything like this with the name the initials and the time you can put it in the rack and then wait for the result in an hour and it's pretty much that it right so this is how you perform an ESR test thank you